Uh, well, good afternoon and welcome to Barcelona. Our driver today is Jose Antonio. Jose Antonio and my name Mireya. And well, <laughs> hello. <laughs> we will do a, mainly a panoramic tour with the bus. For sure, we will uh, stop uh, to see the famous church Sagrada Familia projected by Gaudí. And then we will see. Maybe if we are good on time, we can make uh, another short stop. Um, first, we will visit this hill uh, in Barcelona. You are in a very good location here. This hotel Miramar, Miramar. Look at the sea. It is uh, in a very good location because it's uh, in a green area. This hill that's called Montjuic, the Jewish mountain. Okay, here the Jewish community have had the cemetery on the past, uh, but Jews were spoiled from Spain with the Catholic kings. Uh, that happens in the 15th century. Well, but here, this hill today, uh, it's very important for Barcelona because uh, as green area, uh, it's very important. We need green, we need uh, uh, good uh, air in Barcelona. It's important as museums area. We will pass very soon to the right side, one of the most important ones. This is the Fundación Miro, Juan Miro, everybody knows Miro, uh, maybe you spell Milo. We spell always uh, the accent to the end, Miro, Dali, uh, Gaudí. So Fundación Miro, very, very soon. And uh, it's very important, there are other museums here as well. But the third thing, it's important for sport. The sport here on this hill, it's very important once because part of this hill was the uh, old <coughs> Formula One track you know, to run Formula One here when it was close to the city and the second it was the um, track to run 24 hours motorcycle you know, here to the right side Fundación Miró done constructed by the architect Josep Luis Sert that was a very good friend of Miró and both projected uh, this building with uh, uh, Ser was a follower of Le Corbusier and they projected the rooms especially for the big paintings done by Miro. The collection is really very nice. So coming from the right side, passing by the Olympic Stadium and coming down, driving down to Plaza Catalu uh, España, that was the uh, Formula One circuit. And here to the left side, you will see today the Olympic Museum, but here was the Tribune. But 1975, it happened a very terrible accident. Three people died, so they closed this circuit. Uh, here we have uh, the Olympic Stadium, where we have had the opening. You see the Olympic torch uh, to the outside, attached to the, to the facade. And here we have had the opening and the, the end of the Olympic Games. This is the Olympic ring. Here we have two Olympic stadiums and one Olympic swimming pool. This one is the old one because it was constructed already on the time of the second international exhibition in Barcelona, 1929. The second one is this uh, black roof behind the trees that's completely new since 1992 by a Japanese architect, Arata Isozaki. At, uh, surrounding the stadium, uh, there are trees and, and uh, objects. They remember a lot uh, Bonsai Garden. It has a very, very Japanese uh, aesthetic. And here, the building to the left side is the swimming pool. Special construct for the Olympics, 50 meters long, an indoor swimming pool, one outdoor swimming pool, today a public one, with a very, very wide opening times from 7 in the morning to 12 in the night. And the outdoor swimming pool is um, open all year over, except two months, in December and January. But the rest, you can swim outside, uh, water temperature is around 25 degrees, it's not very warm, but well. There are many people, they use the swimming pool outdoor with a neoprene. 
protected and it's really beautiful especially by the sunset huh? it's like to swim on the sea and then this uh, very special tower to the left side this is the uh, Telefonica tower from the telecom company in the middle of the Olympic ring ya le están metiendo this building right now to the left side it's part of the Olympic construction as well that was uh, here for some uh, uh, sports like judo for instance and today is the university to be a sport teacher so as you see many of the construction done by the Olympics for the Olympic Games are today part of the city are today public spaces are today reused it's the same uh, as the Olympic Village and this is the good thing that Barcelona um, have done uh, thank you to the Olympics just uh, all the money spent with the Olympics today comes back to the city and is used it's not just a, a building that that, uh, that uh, spend only money to restaurate well this hill Montjuic 200 meters above the sea level beautiful for the green as a green area look at here to the right side the bougainvillea is a beautiful color the palm trees and to the right side you can see the spanish town these are the walls of avila a copy uh, the spanish town it's a copy of different corners in spain just to show the variety of this country the variety and culture the variety and climate and the variety and language culture and language both together of course huh? we have four languages in Spain one is Castellano that's as called as well uh, Spanish it's official in all the territory and then we have three that are only official in their own territory this is Catalan here then we have Euskera is the Basque language in Euskadi the Basque country and then we have Gallego in Galicia. So this Spanish town was the art pavilion to show this variety. Today you can visit that. There are shops, restaurants, museums. Uh, it's very beautiful. And here we have to the right side the German pavilion, Bauhaus, architecture, and to the left side an old factory. That was a little bit fast, but it's just a corner, a point where one in front to the other we have buildings that they um, they maybe are separated from about 25 years but completely different architecture styles 